So if you haven't seen part one of this video, take a moment and go watch that first. Now, I'm willing to bet that many of us have this, have this low self-esteem, whereas we'll say, no, I'm not special. No, I didn't have those good traits. I want to take just one or two moments to tell you why you're feeling like that. If indeed you are the scapegoat of a narcissist. Remember, you have all these good traits, the narcissist must crush them. And how does he or she do that? They project all of their ugliness, all of their, oh, God, wretched, disgust onto you. They have to project. They have to destroy that. If they don't, they'll have to take a clear moment and see what they truly are. This repetitive abuse of telling you you're a little whore, you're a sick little bastard, you're just like your father, is what led you into not being able to believe, not being able to see how good you truly are. What a special human you really are. Because it was their job as narcissists to destroy that. Again, because it's something that they never have or never could feel. So they had to take that ugliness deep inside of themselves and project it onto you. And that leaves you in constant wonder about yourself. Now, many of you may have gotten past that. I know that when I first went no contact, I got past that. Time of no contact helps in this a great deal. You start looking at your true self. You correct the things that need to be corrected. You emphasize the things that are good. And you move on with your life. However, that takes time. And when I'm telling you if you're the victim, the scapegoat of a narcissist, you were targeted because of your good traits. The abuse that you endured automatically kicks in and will not allow yourself to feel that good. That's what that is. That's what the emotional abuse does. That by definition, is the PTS thing. So, after you've watched that first video and you don't feel like you have those good human qualities that you don't deserve to be told that you're good, wholesome, special, kind, generous, that you hold empathy. Get to the source. Fight your way to the source. Remember how many times you were being told. If you were beaten, if you were hit, if you were physically abused, your mind, after time, thinks that you deserve that. Specifically and especially when you were young and your mind was still forming. You can break that cycle. Realize, recognize the source. That source is from an incredibly sick, devious psychopath that was pounding that into you. 
This is why in so many others stress no contact, because the absence of those negative messages upon yourself creates an atmosphere of healing. But I always say, second by second, day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, I promise you, that absence, I promise you, is going to allow you to better mental health. And you are going to once again start seeing how much happiness you truly deserve. Again, I hope this makes sense. Go have a peaceful Sunday and try to get to that point and realize how truly special you really are. Thank you.